Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Well, guys, uh, welcome once again, guys, to the class. And uh, well, before we start today's class, I just want to, uh, to tell you that I've been checking the platform and I realize that some of you already complete the platform. So thank you very much for working hard and uh, for completing the platform already. So remember, you are free to work in all the exercise that you want to work. But if you want to like um, keep working class after class, that's also up to you, okay? But I saw already that some of you already complete the platform. So thank you very much for that. Remember that at the end of, of this module, you have to have at least 80%. And uh, two days prior to the uh, final day of this course, you will have to have already completed the platform. So, uh, Today is going to be our 11th class. So it means that we just have five more classes and the module will be over. So um, you just have three more days, three business days to, to work on the platform if you haven't finished it yet. And, uh, but thank you very much for those that already completed it, okay? So guys, um, today we're going to see a little bit of vocabulary, but we also will have some practices which are very important for you, obviously, to learn and for every one of you to also practice uh, two important skills that you have to have when it comes to learning English. So. Uh, today, before we start today's class, we are also going to check how much you remember about yesterday's class. Um, let me see, Tatiana Pleites, can you tell me at least three model verbs? Three of them, please. Mm -hmm. Shoe. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mask. Must. Okay, thank you very much. Let me see, um, Luis Enrique, can you tell me another three model verbs? Can, cool, and good. Good. What, do you mean good, good or would? Good. Oh no, I, I probably I think that you're trying to say would. But I understand good. Oh, okay. I, I think I can I can pronounce the pronunciation, but it's W O U L. Oh, okay. So you're trying to say wood, like with the W. Wood. 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 Okay. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, very much. Let me see, uh, Claudia Lisette. What can you tell me about model verbs? Repeat, please. What can you tell me about model verbs? 
No le entendí, teacher. You didn't understand? No, no, le, no logré captarle. What do you remember about yesterday's class? And the moral verbs and, and, and both and mm -hmm. and Okay. You said, mm -hmm. That's it. Yes. Yes. Okay, no problem. So yesterday we couldn't make the exercise due to the time. So today we are going to start with that. We are going to go to the exercise about uh, model verbs, but I changed some of them. The ones that I sent it to you on the presentation, I changed some of them because I'm pretty sure that probably some of you work on them already. So um, just let me, let me see. All right, let me try to share presentation with you. All right, so here we have guys, um, some exercises about model birth. So I will ask, well, first of all, I will ask for any volunteer that would like to help me with number one. Me? I volunteer. Who, who, who is I volunteer? Who is, who is you? Who are you? Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Go ahead, Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you help me? Can you help me? Let me see. Uh, Brenda Villeda, do you agree with what Jacqueline said? Siempre del primero. No. Do you agree with what she said? Yes. Is, is it can? Yes, it can. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So, yes, it is. Can you help me? That's very easy. Let me see. Uh, any other volunteer that would like to help me with number two? Me. Okay. Who is me? Stephanie. Stephanie, go ahead, Stephanie. Okay, they should practice more if they want to win the championship. Let me see. Uh, Luis Enrique, do you agree with what she said? Uh, yes, I agree. Okay. Uh, she's, she's using the, the model verb should, like should. a suggestion. Yes, yeah, should. Thank you very much. Let me see, uh, Lisette, I listened to, you want to participate, correct? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, let's go with number three. A ver, a ver, uh, you, you would not drink and drive? Okay, you would not drink and drive. Maria Veronica, do you agree with what Lisette said? She said, you would not drink and drive. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, Tatiana Pleites, do you also agree? Agree. Do you agree? It may, it, um... Sería May. May. Okay. Jenny Sanchez, what do you think? Do you agree with what Lisette said or with what um let me, who, who are you? With what what was your name? Oh Tatiana. With what Tatiana said. It's most, I think most. is must. Yeah, must. You must not drink and drive. Okay. That was really easy because that one was in the exercise in some of the examples that we saw yesterday. So that was la de gracia, ¿verdad? Was regalado. Okay. 
Let me see, uh, Rufino. What about number four? Which one do you think is the right answer for that? Um, probably ma most, uh, you always be late. Say it again. Um, mo most, most you mm -hmm. always be late. Okay, must you always be late? Uh, let me see, Patricia Veronica, do you agree with what he said? Do you think that that is correct? Mm, no, it's meek, you, will, you always be late? Might? Might. Uh -huh. Might, okay. Adrián Enríquez. Do you think or do you agree I with know. what Rufino said or with what Patricia said? Or do you have your own answer? My opinion is all two. All, all two. All two? Ellos deberían trabajar menos. No, no, no. Yeah. We, we are in number four. They... No, we are, we are in this one, actually. Ah, ya. <laughs> Me adelante. Um, so, Rufino, he said, must you always be late? And Patricia said, might you always be late? Do you agree with any of them or do you have your own opinion? Adriana. Estoy pensando. <laughs> pensando. Ajá, okay, acabo. Stella. What do you think, Stella? May you always be May late. May you always be late. So, question for everyone. Pregunta para todos. Which one do you think is the right answer? Should. Should, okay, let me see. Please on the chat, every one of you give me your answers. Now, all of you. And then we are going to discuss which one is the right answer. So I need to see your messages now, okay? Go ahead, each one of you. Would, Alejandra Cristina, she's saying would. Rodrigo Chicas is saying would. Carlos Dubon is he is he's also saying wood. Claudia Eta wood. Okay. Cecilia Melgar wood. Claudia Lizard wood. Jenny Sanchez should. Jacqueline Pineda wood. Norm, Norma Marbelli wood. Brenda Villeda wood. Luis Enrique May. Maria Veronica wood. Okay, let me see how many are we. We are 24 guys. We are 24. Okay, I'm still, Lisa Montoya, she's saying wood. What about the other ones? Que hay de los demás? Somos 24 en la llamada. We're talking uh, the four. Uh, on no. other other no we're talking about number four okay the one you said okay i can see tatiana she's saying may adriana is saying must aha que rápido lo cambió adriana sospechoso stephanie may might patricia veronica might okay all right so Rufino is saying must. So guys, let's try to discuss and let's try to verify which one is it. We have here, as Stella is saying may, we have here four options. May, might, would, must. We know that when we use would, what happens when we use would? ¿Qué sucede cuando usamos would, guys? What se happens? transforma el verbo, se transforma el verbo be 
uh -huh. estarías uh, siempre exactly. tarde. Would you always be late? Estaría siempre tarde. Okay. It kind of makes sense. But if you say, if you say to someone, estaría siempre tarde. Normal, well, usually, para nosotros en español, eso tendría 100% sentido. If we say, would you always be late? Siempre estarías tarde. We completely understand that in Spanish. But let's see, what happens if I use may? May you always be late? How does it sound to you? ¿Cómo le suena if we use may? What does may mean? Podría, pero de una forma educada. ¿Podría siempre estar tarde? Okay, now let's go with might. Might is pretty much the same thing as may, right? Because they both are synonyms. So we are going to say the would. Vamos a decir que would is no es la correcta. Neither my nor ma, nor may. Okay? Ni my, ni mate, ni would. It's must. What is the meaning of must, guys? ¿Qué significa must? Debe. Deber o tener que. Right? Mm -hmm. So if we say, must you always be late? Tienes siempre. Está... Perdón. No, go ahead, porque, go ahead. Porque, bueno, es must, porque uh -huh. se refiere a que tiene una necesidad o un compromiso. Exactly, exactly. So if you say, must you always be late? It's like you're saying, le estás diciendo a alguien, siempre tienes que estar tarde. It's like you're saying to someone that. So we are going to say that may, might, would. Aunque would suena como que es la respuesta correcta, but en ese caso suena como es la re, que es, es la respuesta correcta porque lo estamos utilizando como en el español. Sí, es, literalmente estamos traduciendo. But it doesn't happen in that way in English. I know, Claudia Iraeta. Boom, right? Explosion in your head. Yeah, but it is what it is. So English is like that. Sometimes we have uh, some issues or most of the time uh, people do not understand what you're saying because sometimes we are thinking in Spanish and in our heads we are translating what we want to say. Normalmente eso es lo que hacemos. ¿Sí? Cuando alguien está aprendiendo, primero empieza a traducir en su mente y luego empieza a hablar. And that's the main problem that we have. Because in English... Yeah. We Go ahead, Jess. Sorry for interrupting. Ah. Entonces, ¿cómo sería en español la pregunta? Must you always be late? If what's what's the meaning of must? Tiene, tener que, right? Or because that's a hundred percent obligation. But lo podemos utilizar de un sentido retórico. Es decir, si yo te digo, tienes que siempre estar tarde. It's like, o oh, siempre tienes que estar tarde. That will be the, okay. the literal translation in Spanish. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move on. Let me see any other volunteer that would like to help me with the next one, with number five. Volunteer. Oh, they, they ought to. They ought to uh -huh. work, work less. Why do you think it is ought to? Obligation. An obligation. Okay, but okay, Jenny Sanchez, would you like to say something? It's a recommendation. It's a recommendation. And because obviously, for obvious reasons, we already have the preposition to. Ya tenemos la preposición to ahí. Automáticamente la única que tiene to es ought to. And by obvious reasons, it was going to be they ought to work less. Can I use should instead of ought to? That's my question to you. What? 
Can I use should instead of using ought to? Uh, maybe uh, would you say would? I said should. Ah, should. Um, yes, yes, we can use. Why? Should is synonymous. Uh-huh. Should. Porque auto is, is como la versión antigua del should. Right. Uh -huh. Exactly. Excellent. Yes. So how would it be if I change it to, to should, Lisa Montoya? How would it sound? How would you make that same sentence uh, instead of using ought to, using should. How would it be? Um, I don't understand, teacher. Okay, did someone understood what I said? They should work less. They should work less. What we were trying to do, Lisette, it was just to avoid using R2 and use should instead of using R2. Siento que están en una perdición ahorita que ni ustedes entienden, ¿verdad? Que, que, ajá. ¿Qué está diciendo el teacher ahorita, ¿verdad? No, lo que pasa es que como es mucho, teacher, este, estamos tratando de, de ubicar las palabras y... I know, I know, it's hard, I know, but once you get used to that, una vez se acostumbran a esto, it will be normal, like talking every single day using the, uh, the model verbs without any problem. So let's go with the last one. Who would like to help me with the last one? Yo. Yo. Go ahead. Who is yo? Estela. Okay, Estela. I would like to go to New York on someday. I would like to go to New York someday. Uh, can I use will, Stella, instead of would? Eh? Can I use will instead of would? Yeah. Yes. Can I? ¿Puedo o no puedo? No, teacher. No, no puedo. teacher. No. no. No tiene sentido utilizar el, el will. Ok, my question, mi pregunta era, Estela, ¿puedo cambiar en vez de utilizar would, usar will? No. <laughs> But why not? No. ¿Por qué no? Porque will quiere decir será o algo así como... Future. Ajá. Y Future. es como diciendo, yo me gustaría o algo así. Exactly. I would like to go to New York someday. Okay. So, with all that being said, guys, any question? Creo que podría ser shit. Okay. Mm. Now we cannot use should, Christian, because should, what, what's the meaning of should? No. Debería. 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 So I cannot say yo debería gustar ir. So that doesn't make any sense at all. Thank you so much for participating. All right. So we finish with the practice, guys. Algunos con explosión en su cabeza, otros cargando. Otros que no saben qué están haciendo en la clase ahora. But with all that, I encourage you to study, guys. I know at the beginning it might look kind of scary. It might look kind of difficult. But at the end of the day, if you study, that will be easier. That will be so easy later. Because... Um, when you put them into practice, then it will be easier for you just to use them, okay? So as I was telling you at the beginning, today we're going to see a little bit of vocabulary. 
uh, it's going to be kind of um, a review because I'm pretty sure that some of you already know this vocabulary. Today, we're going to see vocabulary about jobs and occupations and things like that. So this is just a review, but the most important part of today's class is going to be the practice that we are going to have at the end, okay? So um, as you can see, I'm sorry. Now, as you can see, today is our 11th class. We just have more, five more classes and we're going to be done with that. So today is going to be more focusing in vocabulary, pronunciation, and just a little review of some things that you already know. Because I'm pretty sure that you already know some of them. So let's start with that. Uh, just let me see, Estela Lara, can you please help me reading these four? Teacher? How do you make the difference? ¿Cómo haces la diferencia entre camisa y maestro? That's my first question to you. El espíritu es diferente. Oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah. Teacher, uh -huh. teacher es la camisa. Uh -huh. Teacher es el maestro, profesor. Teacher es la camisa. The pronunciation. Okay. Yeah, of course, pronunciation makes a difference. We, we say camisa, t-shirt. And when we say yeah. maestro, professor, teacher. T-shirt, teacher. As you can listen, there is a big difference when it comes to pronunciation. Thank you very much, Estela. Can you please go ahead and continue with that? Continue, please. No Can you please continue reading? Continua, please. Read the picture. Yeah, just the pictures. Read it. Do you understand, Stella? Just read, solo lee lo que ves, las palabras, that's it. Ah, teacher, accountant, mm -hmm. painter, painter, detective. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see, Jacqueline, what do you think about that? Can you please read them all? Can you repeat it, please? Can you please repeat them all? Okay. Teacher, account, painter, detective. Okay, so we have teacher, accountant, painter, and detective. Teacher, accountant, painter, detective. So let's move on. Let me see, Lisette, can you please read? Um, hey, your dresser, mm -hmm. lumber. Mm -hmm. Postman, mm -hmm. judge. Judge, okay. Let me see, uh, Patricia Veronica. Can you please repeat them all? Hairdressers, plumber, postman, judge. You, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 it's good. So we have hairdresser, plumber, postman, Judge, hairdresser, plumber, postman, judge. Okay, so let's move on. Luis Enrique, please go ahead. Teacher, sorry, uh, what is a postman? A postman, cartero. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, go All ahead, right. Luis Enrique. Carpenter, taxi driver, dentist, tailor. Okay. So we have carpenter, taxi driver, dentist, tailor. Not Taylor Swift, Taylor. Okay. All right. So let me see. Um, Tatiana Pleites, can you please go ahead and read them all? Repeat again. Can you repeat them all? They all. Mm -hmm. um, carpenter. Carpenter, taxi driver, dentist, Tyler. Taylor. 
Okay, thank you very much. Rufino, go ahead, please. Fireman, doctor, acrobat, gardener. Okay, my question to you. Do you know any other way to say fireman? Do you know any other way to call a fireman? Or to say a fireman? Mm, I don't know. You don't know, okay. Let me just write that down. Okay, in English, guys, we can also say fire, fighter. So we can say fireman or firefighter. So both of them are going to be the same thing. If, uh, if you listen some day or someone is talking to you and you listen that that person says firefighter or fireman, that's the same thing, okay? So let's move on. Let me see uh, Jenny Sanchez. Can you please go ahead? Fireman, doctor, acrobat, gardener. Okay, some of you are pronouncing some words correctly. Some of you, uh, the intonation or the stress, you're not making the stress correctly. For example, I listened that two of you said ac ac acrobat or something like that, but we say acrobat, acrobat. Acrobat. So as you can listen, the stress, we make it here in the second syllable, acrobat. So we made the stress right there. So once again, fireman, firefighter, doctor, acrobat, and gardener. Gardener. Also guys, uh, one of my suggestions for you is to try to keep working on the sound of the letter R because in Spanish, como sabemos en español, decimos R o R, right? But in English, we say R. Like you twist, como que doblan su boca, R. So sometimes when you are pronouncing word, cuando, algunas veces cuando están pronunciando, no se les escucha bien, debido a que siempre pronuncian la R como en español. Doctor, something like that. But... Try to make the R, like R, R, doctor, doctor. It sounds a little bit different. Sometimes those little sounds, I, puede parecer un poco tonto, pero hay veces esos pequeños soniditos bien hechos can make a big difference in your pronunciation, okay? So let's move on. Uh, let me just erase this, okay. Let's move on to the next one. We have, uh, okay, Rodrigo, can you please go ahead? Pilot, photographer, professor, policeman. Okay, what is the difference between saying teacher and professor? Does any one of you know the difference? Professor is, uh, professor Universitario. Excellent. Yes. When we say teacher, is because it's someone that obviously teaches at a public school in high school or something like that. But if you are working uh, or if you are teaching at the university, you call them professor. You are not going to call them teacher. Okay. That's the difference. Someone teacher. that. Mm -hmm. It's like an Spanish licenciado or something like that. It's pretty much this something like that. It's como lic. It's like, it's como otro grado que se le da. See, professor. Uh -huh. We can say it in that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's move on. It says pilot, photographer, photographer, professor, policeman. Okay. So let's move on with that. So, oh no, this is not the one. Okay. So let me see. Um, Claudia Eta. Chef. 
astronaut, pianist, priest. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, okay, so we have chef, astronaut, pianist, and priest. That's it. So uh, today we're pretty much working only in pronunciations because you already have the pictures there. So uh, it's really easy for you to identify what's the meaning of each one of the words. So just let, let's move on. Let me see Andrea Renderos, please go ahead. Um, butcher, lumberjack, uh, bricklayer, mm -hmm. and astronaut. Okay, we have a butcher, lumberjack, bricklayer, and astronomist. Okay, so um, any questions so far, guys? So far, so good? Teacher, what is butcher? Butcher Carnicero. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Adriana, is there any question? Uh, sí, eh, verdad que break layer, por lo que veo, creo que es albañil, ¿no? Albañil, we can also call it mason. Let me just write that down for you. There's another way to call. Call it, we can say like this. Brick layer mm -hmm. or mason. Both of them are correct because they are synonyms. If you said that's a mason, correct. Or if you say big lawyer, that's the same thing. Mm, okay. And lumberjack, sister? Lumberjack, that's a uh, leñador. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. We can also say leñador. Uh, we can also say it in this way. Wood chuck. We can also call it wood chalk, or we can say lumberjack. So both of them are going to be correct. Wood chalk or lumberjack, that is up to you. This is just for you to know that you can use both of them and it's gonna be correct. So let's move on with that. Let me see, all right. Luis Enrique, can you please? Hunter, mm -hmm. fisherman, mm -hmm. football player, monk. Thank you very much. Let's move on. So here we have just the last ones because some of them were not there in that list. We have the bat. Uh, that little word bat is the contraction of saying veterinary, okay? So we can say bat in the contracted way, baker, nurse, farmer, fireman, fisherman, gardener, hairdresser, journalist, judge, lawyer, mason, as you can see here, mason, mechanic, painter, and plumber. Let me ask you a question, guys. Do you know what is the, di uh, what is the difference between an attorney and a lawyer? Have you ever heard the word attorney? Es una especialidad, teacher. Excellent. Yeah. An attorney. Oh my God. Attorney. Okay. So both of them, ambos significan eh, abogado. With the difference that, as Lisette said, you are going to say an attorney to someone that has or that, that has been specialized in some part of the law. For example, podemos llamar attorney. Can you please join the microphone? Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, attorney, as I was saying, we're going to call an attorney to someone that has kind of a specialization in something. For example, un abogado de familia, de lo penal, and things like that. So, that's going to be an attorney. But that's, si alguien solamente tiene un título en in que jurisprudencia or something like that, that is going to be a lawyer, un abogado, okay? Someone that knows about the law and, but it doesn't have something like a extra certificate specialized in any part of that. Are we clear? 
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. All right. So um, the common questions that we do when we want to know about someone else's profession or someone's occupation is going to be what does she do? What does he do? What does your father do? What does your mother do? But that's going to be the main question you are going to ask to someone when you want to know their profession or their occupation. So if I, well, if someone asks you, what do you do? Uh, probablemente tú puedes pensar qué haces o qué estás haciendo. La mayoría de veces se confunden entre what do you do and what are you doing? Si alguien le pregunta, what are you doing? It's because that person wants to know what are you doing at the moment? ¿Qué es lo que estás haciendo? But if someone asks you, what do you do? ¿Qué haces? This person is asking you about profession, your profession or your occupation. Okay, let's make those difference clear. So, uh, any question? No, right. No, bitch. Very good. So we have some examples here. So uh, as I was telling you guys, uh, because this vocabulary is the vocabulary is like really easy. It's just kind of a review for you to remember what you already know to get to know some professions that probably you didn't remember at this point. But now we are going to have a practice. Let me tell you, this practice is about reading comprehension. Do you know what that means? Reading comprehension. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes okay. Teacher. So the exercise that we are going to have or the practice that we are going to have today is going to be about reading comprehension. I'm going to put you a brief uh, paragraph or a short paragraph. So you will have one minute or two minutes, the most to read it yourself. Para que lo lea usted solito, I like in your screen. So then I will ask you some questions or some random things about what you just read, okay? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Cool. Yes. All right. I don't want, por favor, let's be honest, honestamente. No tomen screenshots porque después si están, van a estar haciendo trampa. So let's be honest, honestamente ustedes, okay? So let's see. You have one minute, tienen un minuto right now just to read it yourself. Lo voy a leer yo, and if you want to read it with me, that's up to you. But pay attention to what you're reading. Presten atención a lo que están leyendo, okay? So I will start now. One of my favorite vacation places is Mexico. I really like the weather there because it never gets cold. The people are nice too. They never laugh at my bad Spanish. The food is really good. Mexico City is a very interesting place to visit. It has some great museums and lots of fascinating old buildings. The hotels are too expensive to stay, but there are more affordable options. For example, you can stay at one of the beach resorts like Acapulco. If you are planning to visit Mexico, oh, let me just erase that. You should definitely see the Mayan temples near Merida. So after these guys, I will show you or I will put you some questions regarding to what we just read. What I want you to do is in your notebook, try to put the correct answers you think about this paragraph. Are we understanding, guys? Am I being clear? Yes, no, no teacher. Uh, repeat again. Please. Please. Repeat, please. Okay, so right now, after reading this part, I will put you some questions regarding to what we just read. I need you to write in your notebook only the correct answers 
because after the practice, you will have to take a picture of your notebook and you will have to send it through the WhatsApp group. So I can check that you worked on that, okay? Okay, teacher. Let's go with the questions. Vamos con las preguntas. Here you have the questions. I will give you what, like one minute, un minuto lo máximo. Okay, I think that we have enough time. So let's move on to reading comprehension number two. So volunteer guys. Well, not actually a volunteer. I will choose Adriana. I see that you raised your hand. So Adriana, please help me reading this part. When you finish, cuando ella termine, we are going to automatically pass to the questions, okay? Let's go, Adrian. Last summer, we decided to spend our, our vacation at the beach because the weather was very hot in the mountain. mountain. The travel again, again, stay the traveling by bus was the cheapest way, but we went by plane because it was faster. We want to have more time to spend at the beach. Uh, the weather was beautiful and we had a great time. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. So let's move on to the questions. Here we have. I hope you are not cheating. Pero que no estén copiando, right? That you are doing this by yourself just for you to practice, okay? Okay, so I think that right now we have enough time. So right now you can just take a picture of your notebook and please start sending them through the WhatsApp group, okay? Like right now. So we are on the meeting 24 people. So I will receive 24 pictures, okay? 
voy a ir so, al encuentro porque mi tía me acaba de presentar 50, lo voy a ir sacando desde que me quiten. Uh -huh. Y solo eso. Se partirá su mano. Él ha frenado el salvador varios intentos. Sí, su papá se dio para la comida. No. No. Solo Hay que hacer. Mm, please try to, try to um, turn your microphones off because we're listening to the whole conversation. Okay, so um, let's move on guys for the last, I could not do anything. I have no paper and pencil. All right, but I hope you practice guys. So let me see, let's go to the final practice. I already start receiving, let me see some of you, let me see. Okay, yeah, I received some of you already. That's good, all right. So this is going to be the last practice, guys, that we are going to do in the last 10 minutes. This is going to be a conversation that you will have with your classmates because I will force you, lo vamos a forzar, for you to speak English because some of you do not want to speak in English, just in Spanish. So we cannot let that happen. So please take a screenshot of this because we are going to go to the breakout rooms so we can start practicing this conversation, okay? All right, so just let me stop sharing the screen. So, uh, what we are going to do, guys, lo que vamos a hacer es que para que todos participen, no necesariamente dos personas van a tener que estar. Es decir, todos en el grupo van a participar a la misma vez y luego lo único que van a hacer es cambiar. Es decir, si en un grupo hay cinco, la primera persona, first Va a leer la, la primera parte, la segunda, la segunda, tercera, cuarta, and so on, and so on. Porque a veces lo que he notado es que unos están hablando mientras los demás calladitos brillando por su ausencia. So that's what we are going to do, okay? I want everyone participating on that conversation. Okay, so I already created the group, so please go ahead and try to join them. What happened with you guys? Were you not able to access to your groups? Or what's going on?
Eh, acabo de mandar al chat de WhatsApp. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. That is. Bueno, si les parece, como en una ocasión nos hicimos eh, por orden alfabético a fin de que participemos todos, como dijo el teacher. Ok. Los primeros dos, no sé quiénes serían. Mm. Yo, Claudia. Ok. Me. Yeah. How do you like living in a big city? I like it so much more than living in the country. There are many things that make it better. Oh, really? Can you give me some example? Well, it cer certainly is more interesting out in the city. Bye. Uh -huh. Este, Carlos, usted sea David. Y okay. yo soy María ahorita. Y usted es María, ajá. Okay. Okay. How do you like living in a big city? I like it so much more that living in the country. There are many things that make it better. Okay, guys, oh, just, really? just let can me stop you. you. Carlos, can you give me a moment, please? Okay. okay. Uh, chicos, eh, due to the time, eh, preferible que todos los del grupo lean la misma conversación una vez y luego se cambien, solo es decir, si yo leí David, después puedo cambiar y leer eh, María, pero todos al mismo tiempo, es decir... De forma seguida. Sí, okay. de forma seguida. María Verónica puede empezar, luego Lisset, luego okay. Carlos, luego Norma. So, until you finish the conversation. Ok. Ok. okay. All right. Ok. Thank you, teacher. I feel. Mm -hmm. How do you like living in a big city? I like it so much more than living in the country. There are many things that make it better. Oh, really? Can you give me some example? The other? This meeting is being recorded. I'm sure that the country is more relaxed too. Yes, the city is busier than the country. However, the country feels much slower than the city. I think that's a good thing. Oh, I don't. The country is so boring. Being in the country is much more boring than being in the city. How about the cost, the cost of living? Is the country cheaper than the city? Oh, yes. Living in the city is more expensive than in the country. Life in the country is also much healthier than in the city. Yes, it's cleaner and less dangerous in the country. But the city is so much more exciting. It's faster, crazier, crazier and more fun. I, th I think you are crazy for moving to the city. Well, I'm young now. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> the next. Rodrigo. OK. okay. Leo el siguiente. Sí. Yes. I think you are crazy for moving to, this, to the city. Maria, well, I'm young now. Maybe when I marry and have children, I will move back to the country. Is the end of the text. Who is the next? Mm, Adriano, yo no. Adrián? Yes. It is clear and
Okay, guys, the last thing that we are going to do because uh, it's going to try to make the conversation all of us together. So I will give you, let me see, a number and you are going to help me reading, okay? So uh, the first part of David is going to be for Rufino. The second part, Maria, is going to be Cecilia. Then once again, David is going to be for Stella. Then uh, Maria, once again, is going to be for Adriana. Then David is going to be for Patricia. Adriana, uh, let me see, I'm sorry. Tatiana Pleites is going to be Maria once again. Then the part of David will get it to Brenda Villeda. Then the next one is going to be for Jacqueline, Alejandra Cristina, the next one, Alba Saavedra, the next one, uh, Claudia Lisette, the next one, then Claudia Iraeta, then Stephanie Figueroa, Luis Enrique, and so on. Okay, so let's start now, please. How do you like living in a big city? Who's next? Me. I like it so much more than living in the country. There are many things that make it better. Okay. Who's the next one? Oh, really? Can you give me, give me some examples? Thank you very much. The next one. Uh, well, it certainly is more interesting out in the city than it is in the country. There is so much more to the to do and see. Okay, perfect. The next one. Yes, but the city is more dangerous than the country. Thank you very much. The next one. That's true. People in the city aren't hot, open, and friendly. Uh, those in the countryside and the street aren't uh, safe. Thank you very much. The next one. I'm sure that the country is more relaxed too. Thank you. The next one. Yes, the city is busier, busier than the country. However, the country feels so much slower than city. Thank you very much, excellent. The next one. I think that's a good thing. Excellent, thank you very much. The next one. Oh, I don't, the country is so boring. Being the country too much more boring than being in the city. Being, okay, being. Thank you very much, the next Bean. one. Being, okay. How about the cost of living? Is the country cheaper than the city? Cheaper than the city. Thank you very much. The next one. Who's the next one? Me, Claudia Reta. Go ahead. Oh, yes. Living in the city is more expensive than in the country. Okay, thank you very much. The next one. Okay, so if there's the next one, Maria Luz de Nieto, go ahead, please. <laughs> Life in the country is also much healthier than healthier? in the city. What? Healthier. Healthier. Healthier uh, mm -hmm. than in the city. Thank you very much, Luis Enrique. Well, I think Luis is not there. So Norma Marbelli, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, it's it's cleaner and less than dangerous in yeah, the yeah. country. Uh -huh. But the city is so much more exciting. Exciting. It's exciting. It's faster, crazier, and more fun. Thank you very much. Carlos Dubon, please. Uh, 
I think you are crazy for moving to the city. Thank you very much. And the last one, Lisette Montoya. Uh, well, I'm young now. Maybe when I marry and have child, children, I'll move back to the country. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, guys, for participating. That is going to be all for today's class. So see you tomorrow at the same time at the same channel, okay? So have a good night and thank you very much. Good night. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.